and welcome back to the Delightful Planning YouTube channel. My name is Sydney Wooden and I come here with all of your wedding planning tips, tricks, and advice to make sure that you have your dream wedding day and that it goes as smooth as possible. Now make sure to hit subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you're notified every time that I upload a new video, because if you are planning a wedding, you're definitely going to want all of the tips, tricks, and advice that you can get. Um, again, because I want to be your bestie during this process and make sure that you have your magical wedding day. So with that, I wanted to introduce you guys to a brand um, that when you're a client of mine, you do get a discount on this brand. So let's talk about Generation Tux. I did get a little envelope in the mail. Um, so I'm going to show you guys what I got. So first let's talk about what is Generation Tux. This is actually the company that I use for my own wedding. And I'm pretty sure my sister used this company for her own wedding as well. Um, so this is where your groomsmen can order their suits or tuxedos and have it shipped directly to their door. So they don't even have to go to a store or anything. And the company is awesome. You take a quiz online, you figure out what size suit and whatnot you need. They send it to you. And if anything doesn't fit, they will overnight you or, or rush ship you things, um, replacement items to make sure that you and your wedding party are looking fabulous for the wedding day. I did have things that um, didn't fit exactly the way. I mean, not for me, but for my dad or my husband, there were things like the pants were a little too long um, or the jacket sleeves were a little too short. And the company was fantastic with sending items overnight, if need be, um, to make sure that you're looking fabulous for your wedding day. It was so easy. I don't know about you or if you're a bride watching this, I don't know about your hubby to be, but my hubby does not enjoy going shopping and having alterations done. Um, neither does my dad. If I had to guess, most guys don't like having to do that. So you can save your groomsmen the trip. They don't even have to go to the store. They can just take the quiz online and it's very easy. Also, as either the bride or groom, when you invite your groomsmen to do this online, you can keep track of exactly who and who has not placed their order. So it makes it easy for you. I don't know if you're like me, but it was definitely me, the bride, keeping track of the groomsmen and their attire, not my husband. If it was up to my husband, they'd probably get their attire like two weeks before. Who knows where? Who knows where? He would, it would have, I don't know what would have happened, but it was definitely me about six months before the wedding, sending them the links, having them take their little quiz, and then you know, giving some gentle, nudgy reminders for those guys who had not placed their order yet. So anyway, it's a great company. Their customer service has been fantastic. I also have tried another one of these companies and it was not fantastic. Um, thankfully, I tried it just as um, like for something for another event and I got missing pieces. The, it, the customer service wouldn't get back to me. It was a real struggle. I was going to actually use that other company for my our wedding. And after that experience, I switched to Generation Tux. Everything was seamless. Now, something cool that this company offers for the groom is a free try on. So once you place your order, let's say it's like six months in advance, you take your quiz, they'll send you the items right then and there so that you can try it on and have peace of mind like six months before the wedding. Um, you will have to send those items back, but they give you the box, the label, everything to do. So it's really, really easy to send things back and forth. Um, and then two weeks before your wedding day, they will send you the actual suit or tux that you're going to be wearing on your wedding day. This will give you reassurance that everything's going to fit perfectly. And if not, you can tell them, hey, these were too small or hey, these were too big. But somehow in my experience, they've been very accurate um, with the groomsmen, with the quiz that you take online without even having to take measurements. I don't know how they do it, but they've been pretty accurate. And the few times that it wasn't, they swapped it, no problem. So let's dive into this package that I did get in the mail because I got some swatches. Let's take a look at these swatches um, and just talk about different colors, suits, and tuxes for your wedding. So in no particular order, just the order that I pulled these out, this one is called the British Tan Suit. So this would be a suit, not a tuxedo. Um, the swatches typically look darker than they do in the pictures. I don't know if in the professional photos with the lighting, um, if it brightens it up or the exposure is really high. But that is something to just kind of consider that the swatch looks a little bit darker than it does 
in this picture, but it's a very pretty tan suit. Um, it would be great for, in a previous video, I talked about brunch weddings. So it would be great for a brunch wedding, maybe a beach wedding, summer, spring, a very nice tan suit. Okay, the next one is, this is the black notch lapel tuxedo. It's pretty much plain black. Let me do this. I have a couple different blacks and let's compare. So I have this, this is the one I think that I just showed you guys. So I have the black notch lapel tuxedo. Then I have the black peak lapel tuxedo. And then we have a black shawl lapel tuxedo. So as I am looking here, the black, the difference between the black notch lapel and the black peak lapel is on the lapel here, the notch kind of points down and the peak kind of points up. That's the only big difference that I see between the two is that just this part of the tuxedo is a little different. Look on their website and see which style you like better. As far as the fabrics, they look pretty much identical. Uh, pretty much identical. I don't know if you can see that well, but they look pretty much identical. So now this third one is the black shawl lapel tuxedo. And instead of having where it like pointed down or kind of pointed up, this one looks like there's no point at all. It's just smooth. And the fabric, it honestly looks the same. I, it's very hard to tell if one's more black than the others, but it, you can see, um, here, I'll show you up close. That one versus this one. You see the little peak and then reverse this one. Here's an up close of the three fabrics. They really look the same. They might be, they might be the exact same. I'm not sure if the only difference is the lapel, but just so you could see, um, you know, my virgin, all the blacks look the same. So I would say pick the style lapel that you like best. Don't worry about the different blacks because I think they might be the same. Now let's dive into blue. Blue is a fun color for the guys. If you want to add a pop of color, especially if you're doing like a beachy wedding, blue is very pretty. It doesn't have to be just beach, but um, so let's start. I have three blues, two are darker. Okay, one is a bright blue suit. I'll show you that first. This is the bright blue suit. Um, this swatch does look brighter than the model. So I wouldn't say it's a bright blue, maybe compared to typical like navy suits. It's pretty like it's it's a true blue. You know, some navy looks black. This one definitely you can tell it's blue in person. Um, I don't know if that helps, but it'd be a very pretty, very pretty blue. Now this one is the mystic blue tuxedo. It is definitely blue. I would say it's about the same um, brightness of blue as the other one. The swatch does look a bit darker than the model. But what I notice the difference is, do you see the texture in the fabric? And the suit, this suit one does not have any texture. This one, it's hard to see. I feel like in the camera, they just look black. But anyway, this one is a very um, solid blue. And this tuxedo one does have texture, if you can see the difference. And then the last one, the last blue that I have um, is a postman blue suit, which I think it's just kind of funny that they call it postman blue suit. But anyway... Here is the Postman blue suit. Again, the swatch looks a bit darker than the model, but it's a very pretty blue. It would be very nice for a brunch wedding, a beach wedding. Um, if, you're, if your colors are more like pastels, light, airy, this Postman blue suit would be a great option for the guys. And it does have a texture. I'm, I think you can see that pretty well in the camera. It definitely has a texture. Um, it has a little like little, little tiny specks of um, white, like it's a blue and white um, 
So anyway, if you see that texture, that's not like the camera being blurry. It's actually texture. Now I have two gray options. One, oh, they're both suits. They're both suits that they offer. And now Generation Tux has even more colors than this. I just could not order every single swatch that they offer. So I tried to do like a few of their blacks because I was curious if the black fabric was different colors or if it was just the style of the tuxedo. I think it's just the style of the tuxedo. Um, but I ordered a couple of black, a couple of blue, a couple of gray. And then I do have one um, or two, two beige. Yeah, I had a beige already. I just actually have another one here that I missed out earlier. I'll compare them. Here are two grays. They are both suits. One is the Allure light gray suit and one is the cement gray suit. Oh, I remember when I got this, when I first opened this, I was like, this is funny because the cement gray suit, which is the bottom one, is lighter than the light gray suit. So that's why I like getting these swatches because this is not just a generation tux thing. It is a all fabric, all bridesmaids dresses, all suits. Sometimes the color that it looks on the computer is not the color that it looks in person. So I will, um, let's start with a cement gray suit. It is a pretty solid fabric. It doesn't have texture in it. And yeah, I'd say it is like a cement gray. It's very, it's very pretty. It's a, what's funny is I think that this is a lighter gray where I think this light gray suit, I personally would call this more of like a charcoal suit. Even the model, the cement gray is lighter than the light gray. So that's a little tricky, but here is the light gray. The light gray does have some texture in it. Again, I personally would call this more of like a charcoal gray, like a slate gray, um, but it is a very pretty option. Either way, so if you're doing like, if you want a lighter vibe, go with the cement. And if you want a darker, go with the light gray. That's a little, a little confusing. And then lastly here, let me get, I think the first one I showed you was a beige. And then I didn't realize that I had another beige. So this one's literally called a beige suit. And again, the fabric or the swatch is a bit darker than the um, model. And this one has a texture. You can see that texture in it. Um, but yeah, this is that first one that I did, which was called a British tan suit. Um, and that one was like, you can see the, there's not so much of a texture. I guess maybe texture is the wrong word because they all have a bit of a texture, but let me feel them. Yeah, it's not really a texture, but it looks like a texture. Um, here are the two right next to each other. So yeah, if you're looking for a tan or a beige, these are some great options. If I had to guess, I feel like if you had all your groomsmen in this beige suit that from far away, people would be like, oh, they're brown suits. Um, where this lighter one is definitely going to be a tan, a, a light, light tan um, look. Both are great options, but here is an up close. Anyway, that is all the swatches that I have. I hope that that was helpful for you as you are picking out your suits. I did just notice that there are, that there's more information on the back of these cards, which all of this can be found on their website. Um, but for example, let's see, this black notch lapel tuxedo, on the back, it says 100% super 140s merino wool, notch lapel jacket, matching vest avail available, satin lapel and satin trim accents on the pants, flat front pants with hidden flex fit waistband, modern and slim fits available, available in men's and boys sizes, free shipping with every suit or tuxedo rental. Um, complete the outfit, pocket square, tie, bow tie, fancy socks, shoes, suspenders, studs, cufflinks, and cummerbund. So I'm not going to read you the details on all of these swatches because it can be found on their website. And again, I'm not being paid or anything by this company. This is just a genuine, this is what I used. I do have a discount for my clients, um, but go check it out. They really supply everything that you need. The shipping and everything was seamless. In my experiences, I've used them um, I think it's been three times that I personally have used them. Um, 
and everything has been great. So if you need suits or tuxedos, go check out Generation Tux. If you want a discount, become a client of mine and then you can get a discount on Generation Tux. I hope that was helpful for you guys. Again, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you're notified every time that I upload a new video. Happy wedding planning. Reach out if you ever have wedding planning questions and I'll catch you guys in the next video.